This One News update is brought to you by the new ANZ. It's been revealed a group of foreign spies have met in New Zealand. The Prime Minister let the details slip as he tried to dodge questions over a mysterious US jet at Wellington Airport. Heather duplessis allen has been digging. We know this jet flew a senior US spy into the country last week and we now know he or she wasn't the only foreign spook here. But try asking the Prime Minister to give us details. Oh, I could do if you're really uh, fixated with it. We've barely had a straight answer since One News started asking about this mysterious jet, which we filmed at Wellington Airport on Friday. After plenty of questions, the Prime Minister was forced to admit there were several foreign spies in Wellington. But he won't tell us from which countries, what their apparently routine meeting was about, or the name of the jet's passenger. It was on a piece of paper somewhere. No, I haven't bothered that a lot. It does seem very unusual that the minister responsible for the intelligence services doesn't know when a high-level spy comes to New Zealand, uh, so it's very surprising. Especially because this wasn't a meeting of low-level spooks. The passenger on that jet was a senior US spy. Only top-level government staff in the US can command private jets. And the US Embassy tells us that person met with their counterpart in New Zealand, so another senior spy. This afternoon, the PM decided to shut the topic down. He'd looked at the paperwork, found the jet passenger's name, but decided he won't tell us. But I don't think it's an interest to go and talk about that. We don't tend to talk about who attends security meetings in New Zealand. That's not true. When top US spook Keith Alexander visited in 2009, John Key confirmed it. If someone parks a US plane at Wellington Airport, in my opinion, that doesn't count as a secret. So it's not a secret they were here, but who they are, where they're from and what they're doing, that is a secret. Heather Duplessis. This One News update is brought to you by the new ANZ.